No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, I got my buddy. Yeah, it is. My girl's cousin. <laughs> Sneak TV. Though, Ralphie man. the Plug is in the building. How you feeling, man? Oh, uh, man, you know I'm just hanging out like wet towels and all that. Yeah, man. I, I You were one person that I really thought I wasn't going to see for like 10 years. <laughs> so I feel very lucky to even be doing this interview given that your time on the street was not mm -hmm. guaranteed at all. At all. Not at all. But, you know, we got about that day. We out here now. Yeah, definitely. How the fuck did you get out? I thought it was some COVID shit or? Yeah, COVID. Uh, fuck it. Well, I was supposed to get out probably this year around this time. So the 10 years thing was that? What, what was that? I took 10, but I was in jail for like damn near three years. So they right. doubled it up. Then all the little enhancements, all that shit came off. Right. So then that Kobe hit. Then they really kicked me up out of there. Damn, that shit is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, we were all... That's actually one thing I regretted because when I made that video about Draco, I was planning on, like, you know what? I'm going to make another video about mm -hmm. the rest of the stinks who, who got caught up in the same situation, and then I ended up making it. Mm -hmm. And then I hear that you're getting out, and I'm like, God damn it, I didn't even have a chance to make the video about him uh, while he was still was locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knew I was getting out. Yeah. At least I did. You have faith? Hell yeah, I but... And I knew about charges. Yeah. Mm. I know what I did do. Right. I always liked the mental image that I got from reading about that, though. Mm -hmm. Ralphie mud walking through Nordstrom's, just fucking Little making cat. purchases on somebody else's. Uh, <laughs> this, I don't know how in depth now, we want to go now, here. <laughs> now this high ass nigga want to hit me up. Who? Draco. Oh, yeah. oh, for real? Bullshit, nigga. Goddamn. What's he on? What's life like for him? Uh, money. He get rich as a motherfucker. <laughs> for real. That's and crazy. Got two buzz, buddy. So, okay, take take me back to Ralphie the Plug's childhood. I want to know about the early days of your life. Shit, I was always, you feel me, getting money, really, shit, since the beginning of the time. Shit, since from elementary to selling, you feel me, Kool-Aid and gummy worms and chips and shit. You so know, you candy. had the hustler spirit to the point you were doing that, like, super yeah, early on? no cap. Since then, dice game, you know, you know what You were blue flaming and shit, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Like, well, you, you got to tell me what we can't talk about. Because you know I want to know everything <laughs> I, about flu I mean, flamming. I mean, you know, I'm going to talk about it, but you know, if, if they know, they know. Right. You so, know. Uh, okay, but w what area specifically are you growing up in in L.A.? And, and is, is Draco older than you? Yeah, older by like a year and a half. Okay. It's crazy because me and my son, our sons, is the same age apart as me and him. Wow. Oh, God. That's crazy. You guys didn't do that on purpose? Like, nah, hell, nah. coordinate your sexual activity <laughs> I, or some I, shit? I guess they want to try to uh, recreate the truth again. The Lord, like, you know, he, 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 he wanted to see that happen twice. Mm. You know? That dynamic, yeah. So what 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 was your upbringing like, though? Like, you, it's, it's just really, really hard for me to imagine you and Draco as, like, little badass kids and oh, yeah, we what you were mother. running around doing or what your upbringing was like and everything. I mean, shit, we was... Really, it was like, you know, we was the same age, kind of, so, you know, we was both bad as hell, but, you know, I was probably looking at little shit, doing shit he was doing, you know, mm. but we the same age, so we probably was doing that at the same time. Right. He was just doing it first, probably. And so... I mean, when you say that, like, you were the, had a hustler spirit early on, it's kind of funny because, like, you know, there's not a lot of rappers who come out of L.A. that aren't, like, associated with the mm -hmm. gang shit so much. That's always been something that, like, stood out, out about mm -hmm. y'all. Would you say that that was because you were just so focused on money and hustling that by the time you even started to think about that, it was almost I like... I mean, that too, and at the same time, shit, I was doing bad shit before these niggas was game banging, mm -hmm. so I was already going to jail and shit, so I didn't have the game. I already seen what it was before, you feel me? I got to experience all that type of shit, so I ain't really had the game bang or nothing like that. When you first get locked up? Shit, when I was 11. 11? Mm -hmm. For what? Matter of fact, me and Draco had our first case together. Together at 11? Yeah. What were, what were you guys doing together? Bullshit, tipped the robbery, bullshit, little shit. Oh, really? Yeah, bullshit. So is this an armed attempted robbery? Or nah, just, hell no. no. Not at 11. Nigga, armed at 11. <laughs> nigga, this ain't Chicago. Nigga, we ain't out here just tripping like that. <laughs> hell no. That's a different level? Mm hmm. For sure. Okay, so what happened in that case? Shit, nothing. Uh, house arrest, you know, they can't do nothing to young niggas. They ain't go anywhere? Yeah, they ain't do shit. House arrest, probation and shit. We all rapping and shit? From nah, hell no. Nah. It was bad. That's when we was bad. Stealing bikes and shit, scooters and shit, you know. Stealing right. candy out the store. Okay. But you weren't <laughs> thinking about rap that much at that time? Nah, hell no. Nah. I don't even remember who was rapping back then. That was that's so long ago. Right. No 
cap. And then so what happens? Y'all just start a jerking crew together or when jerking that came like after a couple camp programs then in the midst of that, then next you know, jerking just hit the scene, then there all the little kids, the bad little kids, now they got something to do, that's what it seemed like. Right. And then so now they just dancing instead of stealing shit. But now they doing it all together, stealing shit and dancing. Yeah, did you <laughs> embrace that though? Was that like the only way to get some pussy back then? I mean, it was fun. It was, the whole movement was fun, you know, it was was that shit right it was fun you feel like a you, can, you just meet up that's that's when life was just you ain't had to do nothing you could just meet up 20 thick at, at hop on the bus everybody hop on the bus together type shit yeah you don't have to worry about nothing you knew you just life was like damn near free right you know what I mean? yeah but it's weird how that sort of like happened and then it just sort of went away in yeah. terms of la yeah because everybody grew up niggas started getting older and shit like hold on niggas ain't getting no money off this shit niggas ain't doing nothing this shit Right. He's just dancing around, grown as fuck. Like, but okay, some money. let me know. Like, probably a lot of people who stopped being with the jerk and shit didn't go to making money. They went to like a bunch of violence and bullshit. That realistically, I mean, the we dancing would have been better, right? Yeah. Well, we went straight to money. Mm. Well, we was already getting money, but we went like just directly straight to this. You know, that's when Stink Team, Too Greedy, all that shit came about. Right. Okay. So yeah, talk about the early days of y'all getting into music. Who who was leading the charge? Was Draco more interested in music, and then you you got yeah, into Draco, after? Yeah, hell yeah, Draco and Catchy Long Lady Gray. Uh, they was like, you know, being freestyling in the house and shit. You know, just doing a little shit, and then you know everybody be throwing their little two cents in. But Draco was like probably the first one to actually like record a song. You uh-huh. know? So then after that, you know, we just push it. Well, this shit hard to us. This, oh, he recorded a song. We listening to that shit. That shit was hard. Right. So we just push him. And then later on the line, you know, I'm I'm getting money too. Shit, I could talk shit. So I'm like, <laughs> shit, I might as well start recording shit too. Was Draco like, because I, I just consider him to be one of the most unique, um, like standout LA rappers probably of all time. He might not necessarily always get the yeah, credit yeah. that he deserves, but did, did it stand out to you from super early on? That like, damn, my brother is like really something special no, he at this. he the hardest to me, shit, because I, I had to listen to it before it even got hot. So right. The shit been the hardest, he, and then how fast he do it, he come up with five minutes. He used to just be sitting on the porch smoking a cigarette five minutes, come back inside like, oh, he listen to this. He got a gang of little old ass fucking videos on YouTube. Right. Was, Fucking crazy. Was was your style always like pretty dark? Was that always the direction uh, that you kind of went? I wouldn't in? say dark. I would just say it's like some nervous, nervous music. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's like our shit is like kind of like it's 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 unique. Like it ain't dark. I wouldn't say dark. It's just what it is. Like that the was actually going on in the L.A. streets. So it's like. Is no, you know, most people don't rap about what we rap about. They sugarcoat it a little bit, or mm-hmm. they they don't code it. You know, we kind of code it, kind of like for people who know what it is. They listen to it, and they be like, "Oh yeah, that's that shit." I I, I can tell they really doing that shit. Mm. Cause they, it's just a certain sound. Do you remember when you started saying nervous music though? That was like what, oh, so 13, 14. Uh huh. Yeah, because Draco he has a little nervous music tape. Him and Kells. Free kills. They had the little uh, tape. Definitely. Um, were you guys all about the slang even oh, super yeah, early yeah. on? The slang been what? Muddy Mosley shit. That's what we been sipping, Muddy Mosley and shit. Right. And then it just got colder. The slang get colder. It seemed like it changed every mixtape mm. if you really listen. Definitely. Um, do you feel like you would have got into rapping if it wasn't for him, or because I feel like you uh, you see him like kind of like a such a street like a guy. Man. Yeah, I'm a that, I, I kind of like could have seen you not becoming a rapper if you didn't have that influence around you. Yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't have been unless you know, because all the catchy would have probably been rapping still because mm-hmm. he just always wanted to just be like you know a finesse type nigga. So one of them would have you know start rapping. And then I would have started rapping for sure because I already been, you know, freestyling and shit. How how did, how long have you known Ketchy? What age did you meet him? Oh shit, we all been knowing each other since like like a thirteen, twelve type shit. Uh huh. Sidekick days, jerking and all that shit. Right. So everybody really been knowing each other for like man, they're more than like ten years, right? Right. Because well, I'm like twenty six now, so. Yeah, yeah. How did Ketchy fit into the whole equation in terms of y'all starting out making music and stuff? Like, wh- where did he fall into that? Oh, he was a big piece because he was like one of the ones. He was if the, he was on the first Mister Get Dope, and then um, I don't know what happened. I guess something happened. 
and they put um, RJ and Choice on there. Uh -huh. And I guess they took him off. But shit, he was like one of the first ones rapping. He was he was a part of the whole shit. If he wasn't rapping, I wouldn't start rapping. Really? Because me and him hopped on the first song. Uh, what was this, Stink Team? That was like 2016, late 16 or early 16. There's just a song called Stink Team? Yeah, Stink Team. Well, it's like five, six songs called Stink Team. No cap. It's like five, six songs. Was that so? There, was there a song called that before y'all started identifying as that? I mean, yeah, yeah, that song right there. That's the song that got me like kind of booby. Everybody, like, oh, this shit, yeah, this hard. Okay. Oh, we thought it was Draco. Oh, that ain't Draco. Oh, yeah, that nigga hard. Yeah, it was always that Type moment. Shit. That <laughs> moment when you realize that, like, oh, there's a dope rapper that I fuck with, but also his friends are dope too. Mm -hmm. That's that's important. No okay. cap. When you look at uh, that that time period where Draco was like fucking with mustard and everything, did that make you start thinking like, oh shit, there's really a, a future in this music shit for us? I mean, we already knew it was going. You it, you know when you know you like the truth. It's like you just you already know. Even without that, we we would we was already on the rise. Mm. That's what made them notice us. Like, you feel me? Because we was already going up. Right. So, you know. But it must have been kind of bugged out. Like, all yeah, of a sudden, was, you're around Mustard. I mean, you're around all shit, these more know, famous dudes and shit. I mean, you kind of been around us. You know, we don't really care about yeah. the, all that type but of shit. But there must have been a time period where you cared more. Because you, you really do seem like the kind of person that you could see a fucking 12-car collision right here. And you'd be like, damn, that shit crazy. Whatever, I'm going to go back to this juice. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> uh, but no, okay. I, I hear what you're saying, though. But no, nah, yeah, yeah. We, we've seen the change. We seen a change in like how fast shit was going, right. from the numbers. Mm, definitely. You know that making me feel good. Could you tell from early on though that that situation wasn't gonna work out? I mean, I don't even know what happened. I don't, they was just, I don't know. Niggas don't like to see niggas hard. Niggas, I don't know. Drake go hard. Yeah, Drake. He, he can pressure a lot of people up. Yeah, and he's also like not necessarily the easiest person yeah. for people to get exactly. along with. Like you're his brother, obviously you've. Just always known him and shit, mm -hmm. but I could definitely imagine. He talking shit, so he's... yeah, yeah. I mean, he's like the ultimate like feelings hurter with yeah, his music. He talk his shit. Like, he really gonna make you feel <laughs> bad about yourself, like even if you're not involved in whatever he the fuck may, he's he rapping about. He makes shit seem less of what it is when it's some like, oh damn man, damn now the S550 ain't cool. Like damn, need to get the Royce Royce now the S550 ain't cool. Like he like he just makes shit like he be talking shit. Definitely. No cap. For sure. Um. Okay. So. I don't know, like around that time though, where you, where your shit was blowing up, but then you're still like fully in the streets, right? Yeah, I was still like really in the field still. But was there ever like a moment where you're like, all right, we gotta fall back a little bit? I don't feel like you got, you ever really like separated it that much. I mean, I still be kind of like, you know, playing this shit. Like, I'm, I'm music, all this shit is one thing to me. It's like it go co respond. Right. Hip hop, kind of streets fashion, like, the music, like all this shit, like, you know, it's tied in. That is crazy because, like, when I'm listening to, you, like, I feel you on that because when I'm listening to you rap with Dub and shit, mm -hmm. and it's like he's rapping about, he's saying, I made 20000 off of Crunex. Uh -huh. And it's like, y'all really, like, it's, it's crazy okay. to see that one group of friends and everybody, like, hitting different levels yeah, for real. from different things. Okay, yeah, because when I got out of jail, I'm like, damn, the homie in the parking lot, damn, this nigga making, like, damn, 10 beds in the parking lot. No cap. I'm like, I'm looking at this shit like, this shit crazy. I remember it was just the black, just the uh, awful, like, he got lighters and shit down. Look at this shit. This nigga yeah, going yeah. crazy. <laughs> But. No jumper dot com. Um, if you, yeah, I know, cause like I remember when they even in, introduced me to Desto, it was like, this is like a the celebrity drink salesman mm -hmm. was basically <laughs> what they told me about him. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I wanted to meet yeah. him and shit, but I don't even think he was doing the. No, nah, he wasn't even doing the brand, but he had like the slogan. Yeah, just had no. He just he just got pulled over. From by the police, so that's when he made it, you know. You're gonna really cap to my face and act like that was real? Um, I think that was real. I ain't gonna lie. Mm, okay. <laughs> he thinks I'm a different kind of white boy. He thinks <laughs> I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> I mean, maybe I was in jail and I got out again that time. And when I was out, I see that shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, we got some shit going on. But now I don't know if it was real. I'm gonna wait till he's on the podcast to, to <laughs> lay out what I uh, am aware happened and in in, in how that came to be. No cap. Yeah, I might already be snitching on him too hard. He might be mad at me right now. Uh, um,. Here's a question. When did you first experience lean? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
He <laughs> said, mm-hmm. Yeah, this shit good. Do you yeah. remember? Do you remember when you first uh, experienced well, it? Like was 12, it you or Draco? Me and Draco. Well, Draco been like doing shit. From you birth? Know? That's why I said, no, nah, not from birth. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the bottle. It didn't seem like it. Uh, <laughs> I think it's coming. It didn't seem like it. Yeah, when, when did that nah, happen? But it was probably like 12. So he was, no, if, I, if he was 12, then I had to be younger. I had to be like probably like 11. Mm-hmm. So. That's when Act was out. Niggas was getting that shit for like twenty five a line. Nigga, that shit was cheap as a month. Like, really? Niggas didn't drink red, none of that shit. Niggas just it was Act and, and quality. You feel me? It was just Act quality and Jolly Ranchers and shit. If mm. you wanted them type of niggas. Did, did that go away? You never dropped the Jolly Ranchers in there? I mean, hell, shit is already yeah, too it, it sweet. It seemed like now it take away the taste. Nigga want to taste the lean now, so nigga ain't trying to put no Jolly Rancher. In and it's that already shit. sweet enough. Yeah, you gotta put more sugar in there. It's kind of crazy to me. Yeah, this shit good. You remember how you got it back <laughs> in the day? Like, what, what was I the mean, method? I mean, it's the same Caesar shit. I've been. I really used to. Everybody know me. I be outside. I used to be outside the pharmacies waiting on older people to come out, and I used to just buy it from. Period. No buy shit. it from them or. I mean, shit. I, yeah, buy it from okay. shit. Hey, shit. As long as you're buying it and you're I'm not high. pushing them down the staircase. Nah, I ain't trying to push the old people down those stairs. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, you, you I'm tell a me. I'm a <laughs> I, I know you never have sold lean, but if you, if you, I'm sure you've known lean salesmen in L.A. and stuff. What, like, how do they acquire lean on average? Like, what's the, the, the main methods that they're using? I mean, shit. I don't know the methods. I just know I know how to get my juice in there. You know, I just sit my shit. You know, I don't know what these people be doing. I was kind of wondering, like, even because that's the one thing about lean that's crazy is that, that people really will keep their methods a secret, mm-hmm. like a hundred percent. Yeah, they ain't trying to tell you how they. You know, these niggas be re-rocking shit and all that type of weird shit. <laughs> right. I feel like there's a lot of dudes who just have like twenty girls with scripts and they just. Tap in with them every couple of weeks, and or twenty grannies around the corner somewhere. Mm. <laughs> it's either or. Do you ever buy buy a lean off of a homeless person in Skid Row? Well, yeah, I probably don't do. <laughs> I don't want to throw a dub under the bus too bad, but get uh, some twenty dollars, little juice, little quick little shit. So I'll be cool though. I'll be like, I got a hundred for you, man. Give him some weed or something. Right. But shit, these smokers K2. get in advance. The smoker told me twelve hundred the other day. I'm like, God damn, this bitch this bitch must have lost her mind. They know too much. Yeah, they know too much. These niggas done I mean, stinks went to jail. Niggas done gave the smokers the sauce. They done gave everybody the sauce. They just started handing the sauce out. There wasn't no code. These niggas didn't know how to live with all that. Yeah, this shit funny. Yeah, you guys drink too much lean. I feel like you like single handedly fucked up the market, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but see, but we was keeping it fair. These niggas start going crazy, nigga. They got more juice and more money and raised the price. I, I, that's backwards. You're supposed to lower the price. Now is everybody got it. You supposed to, it ain't nothing no more. You're supposed to lower it. These niggas went crazy and raised it. Yeah. That shit, that was backwards. Honestly, even when Lean was like 50, 60 a line, and I would always think that in my head. I'm like, bro, that price is kind of high, but... It's so hard to get that I'm surprised that the price isn't higher because I know for a fact that motherfuckers would pay two or three times that no and cap. then fast forward to 2021 and that's exactly what the case is. No cap. Crazy. Yeah, they gets be taxing. Definitely. be trying to deal with grannies and shit. I ain't trying to be dealing with these niggas, man. Oh, yeah. No cap. That's not how you want to live. Granny's going to tell. <laughs> Uh, granny shit, we just get, I'm getting high, man. I ain't doing nothing illegal, mm. man. I'm just doing what everybody else do. <laughs> but no, all right. This might be too much for me to ask, but you ever really hear about people catching like big cases for drink? No. Right? Isn't that weird? This is just, they pour this shit out. That shit ain't nothing. This just seems like too much work. They don't really want to think yeah. about it. <laughs> what is it, shit? By the time, but shit, I'm, I wish what? I, as soon as they come, I'm going to pour that shit in one soda. What? <laughs> 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 Um, be high as a bitch. All right, so when do you remember that people around you started to get mixed up in the flu flaming and whatnot, and and when that became a thing in L.A.? I mean, shit, that you know, everybody do what they do. I don't, you know. I just know when I used to be doing shit, I just start doing what I do. You know, it just happened. I've been doing it. You know, what I, mean? I didn't. I didn't just. It just. It was already happening. Mm. It just start happening every day. All of a sudden, like. <laughs> That's when it feels like, like as a once in a while thing. It feels like that might be sustainable, but. If you really, like, are doing it all the time, it feels like that's not going to work out for too long. Oh, no. Hell no. I'm a rapper now. I'm, uh, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, not now, of course. 
Yeah, I'm a, that's what I say used to when I used to be, you know. <laughs> I mean, you kind of seen scamming become part of the game oh, over the yeah, years. Oh, yeah, that shit got too big. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Has that been weird, though, to watch, like, you know, everybody was just getting money off drugs and, and whatever for a long time, and then all of a sudden people are taking on identities. At this point, it ain't even scamming, man. It's just like a fair exchange from the government to the people. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. At this point, shit, everybody gets money. It's, I got to ask you, everybody, yeah. You know I mean? Definitely. Um, all right, so when do you feel like your like people really started paying attention to you? Obviously, Draco's like first to the door, but when do you feel like mm -hmm. you started really getting attention for your music as well as like the other stink team? Probably when he went to jail the first time we started fucking with like Greedo and Shortline, mm. and then you feel me was fucking with them all the time. And when he got out, we kind of just plugged that in, so everybody was like, "Oh yeah, Ralphie, Ralphie, Ralphie," and then Stink Team, Stink Team, and Spaceship. Mm. That was one of the big ones. Spaceship for a lot of for you for catchy mm -hmm. that was like a crazy ass well, we moment. Really, the whole, like, you feel mm. me? As soon as the, the little buzz, we went right to jail. It was over with. Damn, you it remember? How, you remember how you got introduced <laughs> to Shoreline? Yep, Ron Ron Studio, I think. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Then we was at your shit too. Yep. Yeah, that's when I first met Greedo too. At my shit? Yeah. That's actually back. crazy. I seen damn near everybody back there that, that whole week. I was fresh out. I'm just looking at everybody. I'm looking at the world out. I'm like, you know, who the fuck is everybody out here? What do you think of Greedo when you met him? He was smooth, nigga. Greedo smooth. Yeah. Funny. But he's like the craziest ball yeah, of yeah, energy you've yeah, ever been sure. around in your life. For sure. And you could never trailer. forget that he's there for 30 mm -hmm. seconds. <laughs> no cap. Definitely. Yeah, because, okay, Free so you, man. you're saying you met him the day that you came to do the interview with Draco, or was it another time no, around No, then? no, it was before. It was it was TK was out, out there. Uh, Ron Ron pulled up, Shoreline. I think Trippy was out there. Oh, that day. This was like before, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I think Pump pulled up. Uh -huh. This one, everybody was like regular still. Mm -hmm. That's I'm like fresh crazy. out. And you're and but so you I'm know looking at like, you're like oh we're we're yeah. doing some shit now. Uh -huh. Greedo's fresh out too. Up. Matter of fact, mm. yeah, he just bailed out. Definitely, mm -hmm. that was crazy when I look back at that because that interview I did with you guys for some reason I was like the one interview ever where like nobody remembered to turn the light on. Mm -hmm. So it was mad <laughs> dark. <laughs> no, it was like if you watch the interview, <laughs> it was really dark for some reason and nobody thought of it the whole time. And that actually, I feel like with you and Draco, that really like kind of fit y'all vibe. Yeah, you know, we a couple cool, of man. dark dudes. You know, slit my wrist, emo vibes. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Definitely. Um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, how serious do you feel like you take the music? Like, when I'm looking at YouTube and shit, I'm like, damn, he, he very I'm, consistently drops. I, see, now I got it to the point where I'm looking at this shit like a whole money chart. Like, you mm. feel me? I see the numbers. I see Draco. I see how he do his shit. I look at his fit. If I drop double the songs as him and just do half the numbers on each tape, shit, I can damn near be getting the same amount mm. just by dropping more shit. By then, shit, the numbers are going to add up. Because before I went to jail, I ain't had no distro kid and that shit. So mm. I was just dropping shit. And I wasn't on no fucking shit. But now I'm looking at this shit like, oh, I can get paid. Fucking, I'm finna just make my own YouTube account. Flood them. My shit, that shit start going up kind of fast. Mm. Flood them. Then I'm just going to drop a gang of shit on distro kid. I dropped a, I'm five mixtapes in right now. Shit. Then you just checking the analytics, just yeah, seeing just that seeing shit growing and growing. And my shit going up. My, my uh, listeners going up. Everything going up. And I'm just shit. The checks keep coming too. So I'm mm -hmm. just like, fuck it. I'm just going to keep dropping. I love hearing rappers talk about that because it's the exact same thing with me and the YouTube. Mm -hmm. But it's like a lot of rappers, like, you know, even like four or five years ago, it's like, the, the, the path to making money off music was a lot more complicated. Mm -hmm. And now to just have the, the Spotify shit and everything so so organized, and it's like, it's just really good to see people be able to realize, like, oh, if I keep dropping, I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep hell growing yeah, these checks and shit. shit. Hell yeah. That's the only math I know, shit. <laughs> shit, that wasn't hard. Definitely. So how'd you find out about uh, this case that y'all collectively caught around that time that we're talking about when everything was sort of blowing up? Uh, you talking about shit? I don't know. They just locked our ass up. <laughs> <laughs> they went with no warning or nothing. Shit, I was. I thought I was supposed to be on tour. Dude, we drove all the way out there for nine hours just to drive back twelve hours on the bus. 
stop at that bullshit ass fucking uh, restaurant. That shit had a nigga stomach hurting. Wait, they, where'd they get you? Uh, from uh, from San Francisco. So you went all the way up there just we to get arrested for shit in there. LA? We thinking we cool. We Instagram playing 2K and shit. You feel me? We go to the little bullshit ass bus and shit. We playing 2K and shit. We drive all the way out there, get this room. As soon as we check in, we chilling and shit. I'm pulling my juice, put it in the freezer. At this point, I'm trying to wake up and you feel me? Start my day. Man, I, the niggas knocking on the door. I'm thinking it's the homies playing. I open the, they open the door. I'm laying on the bed. I look up, man. Police coming. I'm looking. I'm like, ah, oh, man, this is some bullshit. Homies laying outside. Right. Towels and shit. No clothes on and shit. I'm like, oh, they ain't playing. They tripping. Wow. Well, they got dirt bikes with helmets on. I'm, I'm telling you, no cap. I swear to God, it was like some movie shit. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Nigga, they put us in the, you know the little van that they, you see in NWA? Uh-huh. The little bullshit van that you, they put you in. You kind of like. I don't know. I don't know what kind of movie. Yeah, MWA. That's the perfect movie. When they went in there after they, um, when they shut their little show down, right. the police threw them in a little shit. It was like a van like that. They put us in one of them motherfuckers. I'm like, what the fuck type of bullshit is this? Uh huh. Well, and they don't all even the tell back. you. They don't even tell you what what you're caught up for. Man, hell no. They like, yeah, that shit was funny. I ain't gonna say too much. So you're yeah, thinking about every funny. illegal thing you ever did in your whole life, like. No, I already I, I knew what time it was because oh, we okay. just got out of jail the first time. So oh. I'm like, okay, these niggas probably on this bunk shit. They kept talking about some burglaries and shit. I'm like, man, not me. I don't know what y'all talking about. Uh -huh. no Burglary. You did a good job keeping your mouth shut and all that. Oh yeah, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing happening. I ain't got to keep my mouth shut. It's we fun <laughs> It's funny talking to you because I always like I I never look at you and think, oh, he looks like Draco. But while I was sitting here talking to you, it's like certain smiles you hit. I'm like, oh. <laughs> right. They are related, yes. Uh -huh. Genetics. Crazy. Um, how'd you feel when you found out that they were going to be trying to use all this crazy-ass gang shit against y'all for a rap they group? They tried to do it the first time. That's the thing. But we beat it the first time. They dropped it the first time. That's why we got out of jail. Oh, okay. And then they tried to hit us with the same fucking charges and then chumped them up with way more shit and basically hit us with the gang again. So I guess they like... Oh shit! Well, I guess with all this, we could put a game type shit. Mm. Bullshit! It was it was on my case. It was only three people. It was like 40, 50 charges type shit. Right. Like, God damn. Oh. Um, they tried to John Gotti us. But do you like? <laughs> did it feel kind of ironic that you guys know that you're like the the outliers in L.A. Like everybody else is all like very clearly associated with gangs, whatever. You you. Presumably, I think, and this is a good thing that you've uh, kind of avoided at least publicly like associating yourself with that. And then all of a sudden, they're using that to try to give you yeah, crazy that's, ass yeah, numbers. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, damn, man. Shit, nigga ain't game bang his whole life, but then y'all gonna try to whoop a nigga, hit a nigga with the game bang ass. That's weak. Yeah, that shit is crazy. So you're in prison and fighting your case, or had you already been sentenced when? Draco beat his first case, but they didn't let him out and made mm -hmm. him fight it all over again. Yep, I was already in the pen. You, but you're in there. Are, did you already like? Had you already been sentenced or not yet at that point? No, I was sentenced. I was sitting in the county for a little bit, but then I left. When I left, he was already going back to court. He uh -huh. just started going back to court. By the time I got out of jail, he was still going to court. And then he got out of jail. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? That shit was crazy. It was so fast. And you're just hearing about it because he beats the case. And then yeah, he's, no got a, he's got the case all over again. They wait right up until he's about to go to trial. And then they're like, oh, no, nah, it's cool. Yeah, you we can cool go. about this. We ain't fucking with this. Because they already know that bitch. I'm, I, I will, you know, Jackie Lacey, I guess they kicked her up out the office. Right. So that's what a lot of people start getting out because of that. Yeah, she had a hard on for you guys, huh? Yeah, she was for everybody. She was just janky. She was just... Uh, she looked at your case and it looked crazy. Oh yeah, like, keep him in there forever. That's mm. how she was looking at shit. Definitely. I don't care about the janky detective. None of that. Did you even get to the point of like having them use your lyrics against you in court, or did they even not bother? On I mean, that? that was just like I'm just looking at the songs they using. Like this song don't have nothing to do with this case. That's the type of shit I'm on. So I'm just sitting here like, I mean. Like y'all can use that, but it ain't gonna it don't it don't affect us. Like y'all this shit anybody in their right mind would listen to this shit like what the fuck is this nigga talking about? This they sound talking about some pimping shit or some shit. Why y'all bring like we got they brung up right decision song catchy. I'm looking like why the fuck is this song on a murder case type uh -huh. shit? Like, what the fuck? 
They were all about uh, Chunky Monkey, too, right? Yeah, Chunky Monkey, too. Because they were saying that there was a gun in that that might have been Mm-mm, another gun. Shit. Yeah. Mm-mm. What was going through your mind that day when you all shot that video and you figured you were going to throw Gorilla Mask on? <laughs> shit, I was just, you know, for the song, it sounded like the song. And then we were just somewhere and I seen the mask. I'm like, oh, shit, fuck it. We just going to put these masks on. You were in Claremont, right? Yeah, Claremont. Because in the, in the intro, who's getting yelled at for being late? That's me and Draco arguing. You stay arguing about some bullshit. But who are you yelling at on the phone? That's Draco. Me oh, him okay. arguing. You see, he pulled up an hour later. Damn near just crashed. This nigga be on bus. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I'm seeing him driving all crazy to that dirt parking lot. I'm yeah. like, do you really want to get your car dirty yeah, like that? Like he bust. He don't care. <laughs> That shit was crazy. Yeah. Can I? I always wanted to ask this question: Is what the fuck was going through y'all heads when you made "Shoot a Baby"? Shit, we was like, it's not literally like shoot a baby, but like you feel me, like <laughs> who you know? would? I got killers who would shoot yeah, a baby. Yeah, like, like you feel me. It, it's like I realize that like it's just music and everything, mm-hmm. but I'm also like, what kind of day were they having <laughs> where they just wanted to nah, make some nah, music nah, that sounded homie, that demonic? Nah, the homie Ross Free Ross one day he came back like he be tripping and shit. Like, yeah, I'm ready to shoot a baby right now. Like he was just tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Read the LBE bullshit. But there, but there ever songs that you made though, where you're like, damn, I might have took it a little too far. Like that shit looks kind of crazy in retrospect. I mean, nah, not really, cause we just some boys. We ignorant. We just like <laughs> we just. Well, people gonna take shit how they take it. You feel me? At this point in life, like you feel me? Hmm. They just either they gonna fuck with you or not. All type of people doing crazy shit out here. Right. It's funny because I always seen y'all like kind of gravitate towards some of the Flint dudes like uh, Rio the Young OG and all them where I feel like him like he's like a part time comedian on tracks like he's (laughs) really like spitting jokes. No cap, he be saying some funny ass shit. You guys will say something that's super offensive and fucked up and insane. It just sound cool. But you don't really like make it that obvious that it's a joke. Mm -hmm. You just kind of let it out. You gotta say it cool. See me I'm more different. That's Draco really. Mm. Me I'm more I just say like just facts. Like you know I just state the facts. Mm. You know, talk about cool shit. You feel like you got a lot better at rapping over the years. Oh, like, have, yeah, have yeah, you really yeah. gone out of your way, or do you feel like you just go in and just do I just whatever happens? In, I swear, I swear to God, I just do songs in ten minutes, and they just be just quality type shit. Like, I, I, it's, I just go in there, hear the beat. Like, all right, fuck it. Now, cause I punch in. Now I used to write, but now since I start punching in, now I just be psh, 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 quick shit. Mm. It be the songs I don't even want to do. That be the hardest one. I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna do that shit. Yeah, no, that was definitely when I was getting ready for this interview and I was watching a shitload of your videos. I was kind of like, damn, he has got a lot fucking better over the years, mm-hmm. like compared to the older shit. Yeah, like, yeah, because I didn't even mix my shit back then. Mm-hmm. I used to just drop. Shit. That's why I told. I ain't even. I wasn't taking this shit serious. I was just rapping. Mm-hmm. Now I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta put that shit on Distro Kid. We gotta register this shit. We gotta get all this shit jugging. Hmm. Definitely. No cap. Um, do you feel okay? So. What was your time locked up like? Like, how would you describe it? I mean, shit. I wouldn't say it was. You know, it was it jail. Was jail. But I'm, I'm the type. I've been going to jail since a little kid. So, I make, I'm gonna make my worst situations. You know, I, I'm adapt to where I'm at. You mm-hmm. know, when you get in jail, you go. You get in jail mode. Anybody that been going to jail, you, you know, you just know you in there. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be like miserable, none of that. You just gonna keep your same little shit. You just in jail. Definitely. You gotta be a little more aggressive. You have to fight there right away. Oh yeah, yeah. That's you like know, undefeated, big bad Ralphie. That's, what I, <laughs> <laughs> that's just without question. Okay, no, I was, I was cooler though. I was, I'm more of a smooth nigga, you know. Niggas, right. You want to fight? All right, come on. But it's crazy in prison because like I know what I'm finna do. There was a couple different times where I talked to Draco and he basically told me about wild ass fights that he got involved in in there, and I was just like, "Damn, that's crazy!" Because probably nobody will ever know about that on mm-hmm. the street. That'll never be an academics video about that, <laughs> even though you're telling me some shit that if there was a video of this. Oh yeah, it'd internet broken. A lot of people would be embarrassed if there's videos of this. <laughs> right career gone yeah um okay so were you sober the whole time you were locked up hell no i was on benadryls <laughs> and shit look rim rhymes and shit nigga we was getting high no cap that's what got me through that shit too uh-huh. no cap rim rhymes and benadryl shout out to rim rhymes and benadryl what's a man. rim rhyme it's like you it's just 
it's a, what is it like a psych man like kind of like a xanax kind of like but in jail so it's like that's your jail xanax and then benadryl you got the liquid benadryl it's kind of like your jail link right you feel me damn so yeah that was one thing i did notice about you and draco is that you guys got out and pretty much went back to business mm-hmm. in that regard oh, yeah, hell yeah no cap do you see yourself ever slowing down in terms of getting fucked up and shit i mean i don't really get that high i kind of like drink to my body you know i just drink probably a line and They're be fucking around your friends sipping. are laughing at you yeah because they know they already know <laughs> <laughs> they know i, I really wanted to get rid of it you, you trying to kick the cup? <laughs> you gonna do a mozzie move and kick the cup? I ain't kicking no cup or nothing like that. You know that's what make the dope raps. You mm. know I ain't gonna lie to myself and say I'm kicking the cup. That's what really got you on the cup is the the fact that you feel like the the music benefits I mean, it's all from it. One like vibe. You feel me? The juice, the weed, the studio. It's all like. For a minute, I, I even threw the whippets in there. Now that shit is over with. You're over the whippets. Done. Over with. You know, that's a phase. Yeah, because there was a little while where every time I would see you, you would be pretty much... Going up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. And that's exactly... I'm too, like, exclusive. That's that. exactly what I thought, though. I was like, bro, like, where does this end? Mm-hmm. You can't just be going that hard with it for the rest of your life. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's studio vibes every, like, yeah. blue moon nowadays type shit. I've seen people just blowing through a box doing one verse, mm-hmm. and I'm like, bro, this is not good for the environment. That's yeah. a lot of aluminum. Brain gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. Have you ever, you ever do it to, like, make your, your, your voice sound different, though? Uh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. No. Nah. No, no, no weird shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to give up lean or weed, which one would it be? Lean, cause where else shit really both. If I'm gonna give up one, I'm gonna give up both. Uh-huh. Cause it's, I tell you, they go cover spot. Like, you know, they yeah. Go smoke weed with lean. Yeah. And then make dope rhymes. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a tough choice for sure. Um, in terms of like you moving around LA and shit, how much? Obviously, you guys get a ton of love. Mm-hmm. But how much do you have to balance that out with the hate? Like, I mean, I just move strategic anyway. I don't really trust nobody. I love is cool, all that shit cool. I fuck with who I fuck with. They they know who they is, you know. Mm-hmm. And other than that, I don't be trying to meet no new friends, no cousins, no brothers, none of that. Right. I feel you. Um, shit, and I. You were in the 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 catchy tribute video that oh, yeah, came out yeah, recently, yeah. right? You were in the video and everything. Yeah. What was that day like when you got shot? That it was cool. It was, you know, it was a homie funeral, but it was it's what the homie would have wanted to us to do. Yeah, shit. I mean, I was interested in that. It's like that just the fact that you guys chose that as a place to do the video, but at mm-hmm. the same time, like that really captured. That's catchy, you know. Catchy, if you know, you know, catchy. He mm. and he like that's him. He would have wanted us to do all that. Throw a party, all that type of shit. That's the type of shit you want to see. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, that's that's got to have been real tough on, on everybody just in terms of losing him so unexpectedly, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 random shit. That was crazy. Mm. Um, How do you feel having to see people disrespect him after he's gone? I mean, people going to do what they do. They, they nerds, you know. Sweet shit. People going to do what they do. Yeah. At this point, you can't, you know, everybody wants some attention. Mm. I feel it. And they don't care what they got to do to get it. Yeah, that's real. Um, Yeah, so in terms of you taking your whole music career to the next level and everything, where are you seeing yourself making those moves and everything? Shit. Music, I want to be like an A&R or something. I ain't really trying to be like, this shit is easy, but... I ain't got time. I'm trying to be doing the fashion and, you know, all the shits, business, all the shits. I'm trying to do everything. Yeah, what is this hoodie I'm looking at? It's oh, this Supreme. It's a cunt street, bitch street, yeah, bitch street dick no street. No crap. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> then I got my pants that me and the homie made. Got gang in them with the, uh, all the little shit. Desto uh, inspired you in terms of doing the fashion shit and realizing how much money you can make off that? Yeah, him, him, and um, the homie Andre, loyalty and royalty, and Zach too. I'll be looking at him. He be going crazy too. Yeah. Them, them like one of the main ones that kind of got me like, okay, I, oh, Telly Benz too, no cap. Right. Them, them like the ones that got me like, oh, I can really get some money off this shit. Right. Eat. So you could see yourself signing an artist. 
Oh yeah, hell yeah. And I know how to pick him. Mm. Niggas, all they do is listen to the type of shit we listen to anyway. It's, we really make artists bigger just from us playing it on our shit. They like, oh, who was that? Who was that? Who was that? next? You know, they just ten times bigger. Definitely. Cause it's like a cosign. It's like if they see us fucking with, it, they like, oh, stink team fucking with. It. It's like, it must be green. Mm. Yeah, that's why I was really hyped to see you guys fucking with Rembo. Because to Only me, hard. he's somebody who is fully admitting it that he he was growing up listening to music since mm-hmm. he was in high school, listening to y'all and really, really mm-hmm. fucking with it. And now he's got his own style, but he also clearly has that influence. Mm-hmm. And he's he's like doing fucking big things. His, his music going crazy. He and, know how to rap. But it's, it's dope because he actually will say... Draco is my favorite rapper, and I was really influenced by him, whereas a lot of people in L.A. basically are 100% influenced by him, but mm-hmm. they don't feel like they want to say yeah, it because they be they're from the same that. generation, exactly. you know? They be scared to say it when they admit it. But shit, I don't know why. Shit, we, we fuck with niggas. Niggas be scared. Like, we ain't okay when you say that. We act like we, it's going to change something. Like, it's still going to be the same shit. We still going to go hard, and niggas still going to listen to our shit. Mm. And either you're going to fuck with our shit or not. But some niggas get that Draco feature and and they feel like they bigger now. Like, okay, now I'm somebody. Now I got that Draco feature out the way. I'm a somebody now. Everybody not like that. You feel me? There's, okay. a, there's a real bar that, like, really hit me on the head where he just said, I hate when I help somebody out and then they try to compete with me. Yeah, no cap. And that's, it really is like that. Be. You know? It's it like, like that. the best thing you can have is, like, to be involved with somebody's career or to be interacting with them some way and to help them and then to have that just be a good relationship where you all fuck with each other. But a lot of people, like, they, they aren't mature enough to necessarily be able to do that. Yeah, but at this point in life, everybody knows the stink team, man. You know, we the dopest, man. From the fashion to the to the rapping, nigga, we shit. Nigga, everybody know, nigga, fuck the numbers, nigga. The numbers is going to eventually accumulate. Mm. Right now, we ain't really too much. We just worry about being dope. You feel me? That's us. Who else do you uh, fuck with musically from L.A. or outside? Uh, shit, ganging them, really. But shit, you know, I fuck with a lot of niggas, the homie. Uh, shit, niggas like Patty, G2, um, shit, Good for Nash, Young Boy, Rambo, Lil Nine. Shit, I fuck with a lot of niggas, but it's too many niggas and they ain't, everybody know who they is. Shit, mm. C5 be gassing too. Uh, shit, gang in them, you know. You got any? Know y'all is. You got any big plans now that uh, the world's kind of opening up again? Uh, shit, get some money. <laughs> mm. Get some money, look nice while I'm doing it, buy new jewelry and shit, you know. We're gonna see a big stink team tour. Uh yeah hell yeah shit when this shit open up if it ever open up you know they can play this game forever keep us locked down. <laughs> but can you and Drago move around like that yet? Or? I mean I can't do nothing. I gotta check with my PO and shit. You know I gotta make sure he let me go type shit like that. But no nah, I can't do shit. <laughs> I feel you. Well we're gonna get you out one day. No nah, they gonna get me. I'm gonna say free Ralphie. I'm I'm free, but I'm going to be out there touring and shit. <laughs> there's, no probably, there's probably a lot of people watching this who are still thinking that you're really my girl's cousin. <laughs> no, Kevin. Huh? It's a joke. <laughs> Lena the plug, Ralphie the plug. Uh, <laughs> Just in case they've been thinking about it for an hour. Um, all right. Anything else you want the people to know about? Uh, anything we need to we need to establish? Uh, free the important people. She alone, Lady Gray. That's it. All they need to know. We the truth. <laughs> you know what the truth is. Mm-hmm. Ralphie the plug. Hanging out. No jumper. <laughs> Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, yeah. iTunes. Like, comment, subscribe. No jumper if you want to support. Good juice. Stink team. Appreciate you, G. You already know. <laughs>